Ralph Bell Elementary School will be reopening on Tuesday after being closed for 12 years and now has a brand new look. I'm excited to be having kids' voices back in the school. Uh, I haven't been in an actual school for a little bit, getting the school ready for uh, students. The Valley View Elementary School closed in 2010 due to declining enrollment. Since then, the building has been home to daycares and community groups. This is the first school reopening in my tenure, but I've only been here a year, of course, so it's exciting. School board trustees voted to reopen the school last year in order to deal with enrollment pressures being seen in the Juniper Ridge area. But inside the school looks very different than it did 12 years ago. Even in, in the bathrooms, in the children's bathrooms, the, it's bright and cheery and um, in the hallways, uh, it, they, it feels welcoming, it feels uh, cheery and, and ready to welcome students on Tuesday. Hawkins says she received rave reviews from future students who have seen the space. They were running onto the playground and checking out all the different classroom spaces. Uh, a lot of their reactions were, oh my goodness, this school is beautiful, they've done a beautiful job. So really positive uh, reactions from both parents and from students. In addition to the renovated classrooms and gymnasium, the students at Ralph Bell will be welcomed by a brand new fully accessible playground, sensory rooms and an LART room that is rarely seen in SD73. In a lot of our schools where we've started to experience significant enrollment pressures, we've had to repurpose um, or staff have really had to repurpose LART rooms and sensory rooms. So to actually see them uh, here built, open, ready for use and not being um, either dual purposed or repurposed into a classroom, um, it actually is, is a big deal. The elementary school will open its doors to students in kindergarten to grade 7 on Tuesday for the first day of classes. The district will be hosting a walkthrough of the school for community members later this month. Sydney Chisholm, Castanet News, Kamloops.